All right, all right. Here we go. Ruku regain. Eight regains 189 and shoot up to 205. Let's go to the to our positions. And there's the chart. There it is. Went from here to there. Okay, so where's the money? Ah, uh, show me the money. There it is. Ruku 205 hitting a Profit of 6708 with two contracts. Okay, so the Ruku is now at 205. We're moving our stop up into somewhere in this zone here. That's where Ruku will end up here in this zone here for the, for the uh, profit. Moving on. Let's go take a look what happened. Oh, look at XL. It moved up. It's coming in. It's only got 15... Percentage of points down the field, trailing way behind Ruku, but H1 carries their own ball. That's the name of the game. Here we are, XLE. XLE is running right there. Okay. It owes. Ah, there, there's our numbers. It owes $60 on a low-hanging fruit, $36 on low-hanging fruit. It's at 82 so we'll be looking at the losers and maybe knocking off one or two more losers. There's about five losers in the XLE category, who they are. There were penny stocks that I took a chance on that were in energy and went belly up. Yeah, sometimes you lose, but... You transfer over that loss to a corresponding ETF, play the corresponding TETF, get your money back. It's your money. Don't let it sit there. Moving on. Here we're at Tau. So at Tau here, and Tau owes us. Where are you? Oh, don't tell me it did it again. It happens. For some reason, text falls off these things. That's my old notes there, but it does tell me the O, 442. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that. I'll, okay. And we'll go ahead and put T-A-L, O's, Alpha, 442. All right. And color it red. So, Tau's at six contracts, 306, 442. Not bad. A little poor push will be a break even on that. Going on now to the XL, the ETF for technology. And there it is. And, oh, this is going to be very nerve wracking. Okay, so again, now remember, this is a low-hanging fruit. What it was, SMT was a technology stock that went belly up. It owes me 268. Well, XLT, XLK is going to pay me back. As you can see, we're slightly in profit. Not by much, only maybe, oh, actually almost $100. Almost, not per, but the bottom line is that it's still not in the, uh, it's not in our profit zone. That's what we're shooting for. We gotta get in our profit zone. Our profit zone is right in here. Right in here is our profit zone. We'll then go from long defense to mid defense. And it gets higher up, we'll go to short defense, which would be right there at the at the low of the candle. Moving on to CVS. CVS is running. It owes. Now, this is the biggie. I know that. But that's okay. Why? Every little money that we make on this is gonna chip away at this block. We might not make it all the way on this trade, but the bottom line is we are going to get back our 27.36 and then some. Proof of the pudding, uh, Boeing. Boeing owed me $2,000 at the end of January in this account. It paid it back. Moving on. T minus. Oh, T minus is at the borderline. Remember, T minus was pretty much behind. And look at that move. There we go. It owes 478 to the alpha account. It's at. $14 minus, so 
a little bit push, we break into the hundreds and see that sweep coming down here on that price channel. It's just doing a real nice indication that things are breaking past this resistance zone right there. That was our resistance. Here was our floor. Here's our stop on the long defense. This is long defense until we're able to get into this zone up here. Once we get into the profit zone, we will move these stops up. Hey, monster. Oh, monster, come on. This is not good. What did you do to me? Oops, thank goodness. Oops, there we go again. And this is not good. Our long defense is moving in behind it. So now we're going to have to take our long defense and move it somewhere in this zone here. And if it comes down takes us out, it takes us out. That's the name of the game. Also, too, it's 27%. Remember, 50% are 50%. So therefore, this option cost us. Uh, I have to go to check the price for what this option costs. And the end result will be 50% of that cost is going to be taken out. <laughs> All right. That takes care of the alpha account. We still got 1828 to our good to our name. We need to hit that money to work. Remember, one of the rules of engagement is idle money makes no money. Moving on to the Tigers account. Here we are, Tigers account, and we're going to start off. Pepsi's at 56, coming in at 722. Let's go find out what Pepsi owes. Coming in over here at Pepsi, Pepsi owes. Pepsi owes the Alpha account, this Tigers account. This is Tigers. I just realized, yeah, they have no money in Pepsi and Alpha. And the Tigers account, 397, and they're at 260. Okay, so it's getting up there, 130 more dollars. Pepsi will come into, will be paid back to a break even, and that money will then return back to the to the playing ground, and we'll go from there. All right. Okay, so I'm going out to, and also the it's in the it is in our it's in our zone it's in our our, our profit zone, so this is going to move up. The stop is going to move up here to. The short zone into the mid zone right there. There is a mid zone. Remember, it was here long, made that move, got got into uh got into our percentage, and there it is. We made it. Let's go on now. IYR is in long distance. So how about I know it's in long distance? Because I got a secret number. Yeah, I got a secret number, and when I touch the secret number, then I'm able to move my stop. But until such time, it ain't gonna ain't gonna move. Okay. So YIR is at those 202 in this session, and that makes us about $540 in, in catching up with the Tigers. Remember, even if we don't make our full money on the first on the trade, that's okay. Profit's profit, and it's going to eat away and make this baby go smaller and smaller to the point of finally crosses the goal line of overall profits and then we retire the IYR to the winner's circle. Here we come in with T minus. T minus here on this account that the Tigers owes 478. No, that's Alpha. Owes 413. So 313. Sorry, 313. And we're 31 behind. Okay, it's caught up. It's caught up. Okay, Dominion. Ah, a little disappointment here in Dominion. There you know, the bottom line is. That we know that we're going to make our money back. We just not, not make it on this session. That's all. And our, our our stop is still down here. Oh, our stop here is using the 50% rule on the option. The option was bought at eight not eight ninety, and we're going to stop it at four forty five. Fifty percent rule. Okay. Well, that covers our our winners and losers for today of August. September. I apologize. Of September 6th with the Ruku at 205 leading the lead. And I thank you very much. Remember, go to gregorysantana.com slash trades and you'll be able to see past scans. Yes, we have scans that go back. We just started this in early September, so we go back a few days. We'll be able to look at past scans and then check on my performance. Do the proof in the pudding is the numbers you see, not what I tell you. Also, too, here at the Trace, you're going to be able to go to the Evergreen Department, where I have some general rules of operation, especially the most important, 
games of engagement. And then and finally, we're also going to be looking at uh, it, it's the scans for the upcoming for the upcoming day. So I uh, thank you very much. And again, my my appreciation and thank you to Carrie Best Stenner at my site picks plebisusworldwide.com slash Carrie Beth Steiner. Check her out. Let her know I sent you. And I thank you very much for tonight. At we are here for the winners and losers. <laughs>